Hello everyone, so welcome back to our channel. We are now in module 9 for quarter 4, sign 7, coordinates and me. So second to the last topic before our school year ends. Let's start to the what I know answer. So what are vertical lines or lines running up and down the earth from north to south called? They are longitude lines. What are horizontal lines or lines running across the earth from east to west called latitude lines, which affect the amount of solar energy the earth's received? Latitude lines. Which of the following imaginary line that is halfway between the north pole and south pole? Equator. These are examples of lines of latitude, except so the answer should be prime meridian because equator, Antarctic Circle, and Tropical Cancer are example of lines of latitude. So let's correct your answer key there. So it's prime meridian. This area is characterized with generally hot and with cold winters. So it's 30 to 60 degrees. Which region receives less solar energy per unit of surface area? It's polar region. Which of the following statements correctly describe latitude? The 90th line of the latitude are the two points, the north and south. Ivan was asked to locate the equator on the globe. He then pointed at the zero degree latitude. Is he correct? Yes, it is is at zero degree latitude around the North Pole and South Pole. Is it? Okay. It should be halfway. I'm so sorry. This should be, this is in your answer key, but this should not be the answer. The answer should be, yes, it is halfway between the North Pole and South Pole. Halfway. Not around. Okay. So there are really incorrect answers in your answer key there. So which of the following statements correctly describes primary region? So we have it is a line. Mm, no, this is not a no correct. It is a line of longitude. Statements correctly describes primary. It is a line of longitude. It runs through. Okay, Greenwich, and it is the line of longitude at zero degrees. So it should be 2, 3, and 4 only. The answer should be this one. 2, 3, and 4 only. Okay, I double check nyo yung mga answers nyo dyan. So the lines of the latitude. Okay, what's in answers first? So maybe let's just... Minimize this one para makita niyo lahat. So, tropical, pole, cancer, south, meridian, north. Then, itong naka, ano lang, naka blue line. So, ito naka blue siya. Pakipause na lang itong video. So, what's new then? Naming. So, Arctic Circle dito. Tropic of Cancer. Equator should be here. So, itong equator is dapat dito siya, no? Equator, Tropic of Cancer is dito, Arctic Circle po dito. So, dito is the North Pole na. I'm so sorry for this drawing. Maybe during the ano, typographical error or paano ito isasabi natin. Tropic of Capricorn is nandito and Antarctic Circle is dito. So, the shape of the Earth is oblate spheroid. So, meron akong ginawang PowerPoint for this. So, let's go over sa PowerPoint ko. So, ito yung prepared PowerPoint ko regarding this lesson. So, technically po, Earth is on oblate spheroid. So, when you say oblate spheroid, bulging ang equator niya and flat yung poles. So, given the, the Earth, ito po yung label niya sa ating latitude equator at 0 degree north or south then going north 23.5 degrees north is the tropic of cancer 66.5 degrees north is the arctic circle and dito naman sa south 
23.5 degrees south, that's Tropic of Capricorn. 66.5 degrees south, it's Antarctic Circle. So, given this, ang mga countries na nabilong dito, in between sa Tropic of Cancer up to Tropic of Capricorn, they will experience the two seasons, the dry and the wet. And sa northern region, in between the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of Cancer, they will experience the four seasons. And so, with in the southern portion, in between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle, they will experience the four seasons as well. So, we call them the northern, uh, southern temperate, uh, tropical region. Uh, no, not tropical, so sorry. Temperate region. And in tong in between sa Arctic Circle and Tropic of Cancer, we call them the Northern Temperate Region. And the, the, the region in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, we call them the Tropical Region. They will experience the two seasons, the dry and the wet. Kapag palagi na lang umuulan, we have the wet season. And kapag madalang lang ang ulan, we will have the dry season then. So, the equator is located at 0 degree latitude and it's halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. So, take note, the equator is a reference point for navigation and geography and the sun's rays hit at a higher angle all year round here. And always also remember that it has, this equator has the quickest rate of sunrise and sunset in the world and has a constant of 12 hours of day and night. So, these are the countries where equator passes. So, ito po. Sa Tropic of Cancer naman, the sun can be directly overhead. It is 23.5 degree north and it receives maximum solar energy in June. Tropic of Cancer passes through the following countries. For the Tropic of Capricorn, it is 23.5 degrees south. It, it contains the subsolar point at the December solstice. It is the southernmost latitude where the sun can be directly seen overhead at noon. Tropic of Capricorn passes through the following. Let's proceed now to the Arctic Circle. It is parallel of latitude that runs 66.56083 degrees north to the equator. The sun hits this latitude at a lower angle and cover a much wider area. So, the sun does not set during summer. So, if you are going to imagine, if the sun does not set, of course, you will experience hot, very hot area um, season. But then, it just hits at a lower angle so there's a but there if it's it hits at a lower angle then it covers a much wider area and what happened is you'll have a lower temperature even though the sun does not set the sun does not rise during winter so very cold talaga nine months winter three months summer in the arctic circle the arctic circle passes through the following so, in the Antarctic Circle, this is the ice-covered landmass. It's a parallel of latitude on the Earth. The sun does not set during summer, just like in the Arctic Circle. The sun hits the ground at lower angle and covers a wider area. So, even though the sun does not set, it is still very cold in there because the, the, the sun hits the ground at lower angle. So, it experiences summer from October uh, it's summer from October to December and it's virtually in uninhabited. So, walang nakatira doon na mga tao virtually, no? Kasi nga, dahil very cold yung area. So, sa what's more portion, kayo na po ang bahala dyan. And in the what I have learned, nandito po ang ating answers. Pakipost na lang sa ating video. And in the what I can do, kayo na rin po ang bahala sa lines of latitude. We show you the their the different lines of latitude in our PowerPoint, in the previous um, slides, and you can get in there the description and the amount of energy it received. So basically, the Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle it received small amount of energy because it is hit by the sun's rays at a lower angle. 
So, nandito ang rubrics of scoring. And let's proceed to the assessment. How many parts does the equator divide Earth into? The answer is 2, letter A. Describe the amount of sunlight received at latitude 60 degrees north of Arctic. So at this latitude, the amount of sunlight received is low because it is distributed in a larger area. Describe the amount of sunlight received at the equator. At this latitude, the amount of sunlight received is high because it is distributed in a smaller area. At the equatorial region, the sunlight is mostly directly overhead. What seasons can the countries located here have? So we have wet and dry. Which of the following statement correctly describes Tropic of Cancer? So it's an imaginary line at an angle of 23.5 degree north from the equator. The North Pole and South Pole is at 60 degrees north and south. It is receives less amount of sunlight. It receives. Describe the amount of sunlight receives, received at latitude 60 degrees south of Antarctic Circle. So at this latitude, the amount of sunlight received is low because it is distributed in a larger area. Which of the following statements correctly described Arctic Circle? So we have the Arctic passes through Northern America. The Arctic Circle has two seasons, summer and winter. The Arctic Circle is the parallel of latitude that runs 66.5 degrees degree north to the equator. So 2, 3, and 4. So by the way, yung Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle has only two seasons, the summer and the winter. Whereas, um, yung sinabi ko kanina, review na lang. Yung nag four seasons and yung two seasons din in the tropical region. Which of the following statements correctly describes Antarctic Circle? So, ito. It is a line of latitude that runs 66.5 degrees south to the equator. The Antarctic Circle summer is from October to February. The winter in Antarctica is during April to October. Okay, it continues the month. Which of the following statements is correct? So, the tilt of the earth cause season. Correct. So, for your additional activities, kayo na rin po ang gagawa nito wherein you are going to make a short poem about the relationship of latitude with amount of energy received. So, meron tayong rubrics dito. So, that would be all. And let's uh, see you to our last video lesson in Module 10. So, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching.